What's up, dooters? It's Timmy Joe. That's the problem getting a new chair. Hi, I'm Timmy Joe, and I make videos about computers on the internet. Please hit the subscribe button, and if this video gets 13 likes, I'll send you a free stick of RAM. Um, this video will be about my issues overclocking and a little bit of an update. I have an Asus uh, B350 uh, chipset motherboard. It's the uh, Prime B350 Plus. And uh, I made a video recently where I was having problems after a BIOS update achieving any kind of good overclock when we all know that I'm the master of overclocking on this chipset video right here. But uh, yeah, I was having real problems and uh, it was after a BIOS update. I was blaming the BIOS update. It turns out it wasn't even Asus's BIOS problem. It was uh, still Asus's fault though. So go ahead and cue an intro and we're going to talk all about it. Bah! So, uh, basically, I'll set the scene for you. Uh, I have like a really awesome time overclocking on my uh, 1700, my Ryzen 7 system. And uh, I've had like really good luck doing a phase change in a freezer, which was awesome. And uh, then we turn around and so after a BIOS update, I'm looking to maybe increase the speed on my memory. I'm having issues getting over 2400 megahertz and everyone's saying like on Ryzen you can get like 10% better performance if you can overclock your memory to like 2933 so I'm like interested in getting that stuff and that's why I bought the LPX 3000 memory and I at the time it was very early we didn't have like this Ryzen branded memory I went with what they were sending uh, all the reviewers like I, I, the exact kit so you know I've hoping and I've seen some of those people get really good overclocks on their memory and i'm hearing people even get like 3200 and above now so like i want to get on that action so i'm watching for an asus uh, bios update the day that there's one up here i throw it in and all of a sudden i can't even overclock like at all i can't overclock my memory and if i go above like 3.5 gigahertz which is nowhere near even the turbo speed of this uh system uh i, I get like random restarts and blue screens and whatever so i'm blaming the bios and i even tried there was a beta version 0605 i switched to that and i there, there was an 0606 with this ajiza update which is like a micro code update from uh amd themselves and it just seems to keep getting worse. Uh, although I did notice I could boot into uh, a higher memory clock than ever before, but I, it was never stable. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I spent so much time on it that day. I was like, I need to take some time. And, uh, but it was getting to the point where I couldn't even maintain an overclock. I had stock settings set up on my computer. And if I went to render a video, sometimes it would, it would uh, just randomly restart. So like, I gotta get to the bottom of this. That's why there wasn't, a video last week and uh, I get to thinking maybe I should reinstall Windows but this isn't my server I've got a server I've got it all backed up but this computer would be a pain in the ass I have to back up a bunch of stuff in order to uh, to put Windows back on it I'm like what else can I do before that so I had to make a USB key to do that anyways um, because I had erased this one put another operating system on it and uh, in so I'm like while I'm loading that up and it's it's uh, making the USB uh, for Windows I'll go ahead and I'll try some other things and I'd noticed that my Asus AI suite software was giving me all kinds of trouble uh, I, I was only using it really to report temperatures and mess with the uh, uh, a few settings on the motherboard I wasn't using it for overclocking although back when I first got the system and I installed the software I definitely like tried the overclocking settings in it but I know for a fact that I had defaulted it out more than once so that it wasn't touching the overclocking settings. And I had Ryzen Master installed at one point and I had gotten rid of that. So I was only keeping the Asus AI suite. It was a pretty buggy piece of software, to be honest, uh, just to control my fans and to see my temperatures. Now, recently there was an update to hardware monitor and it properly shows the temperatures for, um, 
the, the CPU-Z branded um, program. There's an update to that. It shows your temperatures properly. So I figure let's just get rid of the Asus software completely because it's just, it's, it's freezing a lot. Something's weird with it. And uh, at the same time, uh, I did a system restore to like the beginning of April before I ever had any of these issues with this BIOS update. And between those two things, all of a sudden, with the newest BIOS, the 0606 and the microcode update, I can get to 2666 megahertz on my memory, which is awesome. And I can do that overclocked to 3.95 gigahertz all day long, no problem. I'm so damn happy I have my computer back to the way it was. Because I was like, I, I knew I had like won the silicon lottery as far as overclocking because I was getting really good results before and it's like all of a sudden it was taken away from me. And I was even considering buying another motherboard or different RAM because I thought that like you, I couldn't backdate my BIOS to the one that was working. So something in between uh, updating the BIOS and uh, either a Windows update, and I'm, I'm gonna watch before I install like this creator's update. I, I definitely put that on there. Uh, but the, I think it was the Asus AI suite software. I, I think that that's some buggy software and you should use it at your own risk. And if you're ever having any problems overclocking or uh, maintaining system stability, just get rid of it. Uh, and even system restore to a point before you even had it, because it seems like it can definitely affect the overclocks and the stability of your system. So that is the update. I am currently running at 3.9 gigahertz stable. Uh, I can get to like four, uh, but I, I just, sometimes I get worried about going that far and I'm, I'd rather have it like a hundred megahertz back and just make sure that like, if I'm in the middle of a render or something, something's not going to flip out. After all, I only have, uh, you know, a 120 mil rad AIO. I mean, I'm water cooling, but it's not anything crazy. And my, my case, uh, leaves a lot to, you know, be desired. So I'm Timmy Joe. Do you have any questions about my Ryzen system and its ability to overclock? Leave them in the comments below. If you're having any problems yourself, I'd love to help you out. I have a lot of experience trying to get the max out of a Ryzen 7 system uh, on this motherboard. So let me know, uh, Timmy Joe, uh, watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.